Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to find the value of this given problem, cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 plus cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 whole power 2014. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now let's focus on this part inside this parentheses. Let me go ahead and make things simple and let me make a substitution. I'm going to call this part as u. And no wonder I have set this part equals to u as you can see over here. And now let me go ahead and take a cube on both sides. I'm going to take a cube of this u and the cube of this right hand side as well. So therefore the left hand side is u cube equals to and now let's recall this cubic identity a plus b whole cube. I'm going to apply this one on the right hand side of this equation. So the right hand side is simply is going to become cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 power 3 plus once again the second part is the cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 whole power 3 plus 3 times this part the cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 and then times the cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 and then times a plus b in our case is this whole thing which is cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 plus the cube root of square root of 5 minus 2. Let's go ahead and simplify this equation. The left hand side is u cube equals to on the right hand side this cube and cube root they undo each other. So we got square root of 5 plus 2 and then we can see this cube and cube root they undo each other as well. So we got square root of 5 minus 2 plus 3 times. Now let's focus on this part inside this parentheses and here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and simplify this one over here. So this whole thing could be written as under the same shelter the cube root of, of this whole thing the square root of 5 plus 2 times the square root of 5 minus 2. And now let's recall this identity a plus b times a minus b could be written as a square minus b square. We are going to apply it inside this radical sign. So let's go ahead and take care of this one first. So this is going to give us square root of 5 whole square minus 2 square. So therefore this whole thing has been simplified to 1. So that means I can write this thing cube root of simply 1 which is same as 1. So therefore this whole thing has been simplified to 1. Therefore I'm going to replace this one by simply 1 and then times and now we can see this whole thing inside this bracket is u. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by just simply u. Now let's go ahead and simplify. Furthermore we know this is positive 2 and negative 2 they cancel each other out. So we ended up with the u power 3 equals to square root of 5 plus square root of 5 We're going to make a 2 times square root of 5 and then over here this is plus 3 times u. Now let's go ahead and move this uh, 2 times square root of 5 on the left hand side. So we got u cube minus 2 times square root of 5 equals to 3u. And here I am going to manipulate this equation by subtracting 3 square root of 5 on both sides. I'm going to subtract 3 times square root of 5 
on this side as well and you will see later what's going to happen and on the left hand side these two is going to give us negative 5 times square root of 5 as you can see in our this next step now let's focus on this part 5 times square root of 5 and here I have copied it down let's go ahead and manipulate this thing 5 could be written as a square root of 5 times square root of 5 and then I'm going to write down this square root of 5 as well this whole thing equals to square root of 5 whole power 3 so therefore I'm going to replace this one by this one so therefore this equation could be written as u cube minus square root of 5 whole power 3 equals to on the right hand side I am going to take this 3 common I'm going to factor this one out so we got u minus square root of 5 inside this parenthesis and now let's recall this uh, cubic identity a cube minus b cube we are going to apply it on the left hand side so this is simply is going to become u minus square root of 5 times we can write u square and then plus square root of 5 times u and then plus square root of 5 whole square equals to on the right hand side this is going to be 3 times u minus square root of 5 and now we can see over here this uh, square of square root of 5 is going to be simply 5 as you can see in this next step where this uh, 5 has been simplified now let's go ahead and move this term to the left hand side so we can write this thing u minus square root of 5 times uh, this is u square plus uh, square root of 5 times u plus 5 and when we move on the other side becomes a negative 3 times uh, u minus uh, square root of 5 equals to 0 now we can see this u minus square root of 5 and this u minus square root of 5 they are in common so therefore we can factor that one out u minus square root of 5 and then we are left with the u square plus square root of 5 times u plus 5 and this negative 3 I'm going to just write down over here equals to 0 now let's go ahead and combine these two like terms 5 minus 3 is going to give us 2 as you can see in this next step where 2 has been simplified and now since these two factors are equal to 0 let me go ahead and separate them I'm going to write down u minus square root of 5 equal to 0 or the other side this is u square plus square root of 5 times u plus 2 equal to 0 and here's our next step I have just put down these two equations over here and now let's go ahead and solve for u this very first equation let me go ahead and move this uh, negative square root of 5 on the other side so this is going to give us u equals to positive square root of 5 so this is one of our solutions and now let's focus on this uh, quadratic equation and now let's recall the discriminant b square minus 4ac we are going to calculate the discriminant of this quadratic equation and here we can see our a equals to 1 b equals to square root of 5 and c equals to positive 2 so let's go ahead and calculate the b square minus 4ac discriminant so b square is going to be square root of 5 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 2 and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us a negative 3 a negative number now let's recall this discriminant table we can see that our discriminant is a negative number as you can see 
over here so therefore no real solutions since there are no real solution exists so therefore this case has been rejected and we are going to accept this uh, case when u equals to square root of 5 and here's our final step we know our u turns out to be square root of 5 and we also know that u equals to this our substitution part now let's go ahead and compare these two equations and here i have got this part equals to square root of 5 as you can see in this uh, next equation and since we are looking forward to this uh, power 2014 so i am going to take power 2014 on this side and power 2014 on this side as well and now in this next step this 2014 could be written as 2 times 1007 and now let's recall this power rule of exponents so this right hand side could be written as square root of 5 whole square and then power 1007 and now we can see this square and square root they undo each other so our value for this turns out to be 5 power 1007 so that's the value of this given radical problem turns out to be a 5 power 1007 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye